Okay, so we're going to do page three, three, four, example number three. And you should see the uh, question somewhere popping up here in a second. Copy down the question and uh, have it set piece of paper so you can see what's being asked. If you don't have your book with you, you can follow along up on the board. Okay, so the question is about creating a confidence interval for the percentage of adults that believe in global warming. And we're told that uh, in a, let's see, we're told that through a study, 1,501 people, 1,501 people were surveyed. Okay, there was a poll done and 1,501 people participated in the poll. So that's our N, that's our sample size. And we're also told that out of those people, 70% believe in global warming. So our P hat, which is the point estimate that comes from the study, right? P hat comes from the study. We're told that 70% out of the 1,501 people surveyed believed in global warming. So don't forget, P hat, the point estimate, is an estimate of what we think is true for all U.S. adults, at least in this problem. But we called it an estimate because we only surveyed 1,501 people. We didn't survey every single U.S. adult. So we call this then a point estimate of what we think the true percentage is for all U.S. adults. Okay, so part A asks to find the margin of error, E, corresponding to a 95% confidence interval. Okay, so we know that the equation for E is our critical value times the square root of P hat times Q hat over N, right? Now, because we're told that we want a 95% confidence interval, we know then that this critical value is 1.96. How do we know that? Well, in our class, we had a table in the book. Uh, it's on chapter 7-2. And I asked you to copy down your notes. There should be a table that says, if you want a confidence level of 95%, then this critical value is 1.96. If we want to be 90% confident, in our margin of error, then this number is going to change based off that table. So just look at the table and look for a confidence level of 95% and you'll see that the critical value equals 1.96. Now let's define the rest of these variables. P hat, we know from there is 0 0.70, which means our Q hat equals 0 0.30. Why? Because Q hat is 1 minus P hat. So 1 minus 0 0.70 is 0 0.30. And n is our sample size, 1501. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug these numbers into the equation. So z, we said is 1.96 times the square root of p cat times q hat over n. So this is 0 0.70 times 0 0.30 divided by N, which is our sample size of 1501. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some math. Plug those numbers into your calculator, and you should have this as being equal to 0 0.0231. So that's our margin of error, that's our E, right? The second part of the question asks to find the confidence interval of this population proportion. And we know that the confidence interval takes this form. P1 is less than the true population proportion, and the true population proportion is less than some number P2. So what this says is that the real percentage of adults that we think believe in global warming is somewhere between this number and that number. We're not sure exactly because we had it from a sample, right? 
But we know that based off of our study of those people, we think that the true percentage is somewhere between those two numbers. So the question is, how do we get those two numbers? Well, P1 equals P hat minus E, and P2 equals P hat plus E. So we have P hat, and we have E. So we have all the numbers we need to create our interval. So let's go ahead and make some room, and we'll do it up here. Now we know E is that number, so I'm going to write that up here for us. 0 0.023183. Just so we can see it a little better. And we know that the interval takes this form, right? So let's go ahead and put it up here then. So the confidence interval is p hat, which is 0 0.70, minus e, which is 0 0.023183. That's the low end of the interval. And the high end of the interval is p hat plus e. So 0 0.70 plus 0 0.023183. Okay, hopefully that focuses for us. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So that gives us an interval of 0 0.677. And we round off to three digits, so we only keep these three digits. 2.702 because we're going to we round it off to three sitting figures. Probably better put the zero here. 0 0.702. So what this means is that we are 95% confident that the true percentage of adults that believe in global warming is somewhere between 0.677 to 0.702. Right? That's the true probability of finding someone that believes in global warming. Or that's the true uh, proportion of people who believe in global warming. We think it's somewhere between here to there. Somewhere between 68% to 70%. Right? And we are 95% confident. Because remember, we use a confidence level of 95%. So that's how you interpret this, this interval.